Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm here with Mike Brennan, who is a promoter. And how long have you been a promoter? How many years? You know, I think I started promoting shows when I started managing about, uh, I don't know, I want to say 2003. Okay. So about, I don't know, what is that, 15 or 13 years, something like okay. that. Okay. So what got you started? Like, what was the thing that motivated you to become a promoter? Because it's, it's like a really consuming job. <laughs> yeah. You really have to have an authentic love for music. In yeah, order I think to about that, that right? time when I started, my brothers had got into a band. Okay. I had no clue about the music business and all that kind of stuff. And I had, I'd been around in all the bunch of scenes and stuff like that, and they just asked me, hey, come in and okay. what can you do for us? Okay. So, that's what started it. So you started with your brother's band first? Is that yeah, the first yeah. band you promoted? Daybreak was the first band that I managed huh. and then promoted and started booking shows for it. So after your brother's band, what made you expand and actually start promoting other bands and be, make well, it become happened, sort of a job? Yeah, because you they, were, they were getting crap shows okay. because they're a new band, young band, which they usually do. Okay. So as a person, I owned a business as it was, and so my outlook on that was, was to fix that was to take over. Okay. You know, forget going through the, the booking agents and all this stuff and just start, you know, going to the source, calling the venues, getting the shows, acting as the booker. So what was your experience once you started doing that with the people who actually run the shows? What was the positive and negative sort of experience that you re that you? Because, you know, there's like issues with getting paid, with the bands getting paid. We want to know the dynamics of how that whole thing works. Like, okay, you got the venues, and then you got you as a promoter, and then you got the band. What's the sort of... Well, yeah, and how I work that, all three. Well, but I how, manage bands, I do promotions, sure and I work with venues. Okay. So I get the, you know, I, the, whole, the whole spectrum I get and I understand. Well, explain it to us. Okay. How does that work? Okay, so... Well, all bands want to be paid. Okay, yeah, all of course. All bands shouldn't be paid. What's the dynamics in the business aspect of it, okay? Well, the business aspect is that, like, this whole pay-to-play crap started okay. way back when. And can you define pay-to-play? What does that mean for people who may not know? Well, pay-to-play is basically like, like chain reaction down the street, okay? You want to pay there, play there? They give you 50 tickets and say they're $10 each. Okay. And you sell these tickets. Okay. But whether you sell 10 of them or 50 of them, you owe them the $500. So we have an, a, a problem there. So what would you think would be the solution to that problem? Well, that's the question then, right? But the, the whole stigma and the crap about pay-to-play is that all these venues have taken that and gone, well, we're going to do this. We're going to throw three shows a week, four shows a week with, like, no decent headliners. And all five of you bands, each night you're going to play, and you're going to pay and be responsible for these tickets to play with your buddy's band that you go play with so, anywhere else. So what they did is they took a situation and sort of manipulated it and took advantage well, of it, right? American way, right? For it to be fixed, it's got to be all three. It's got to be the venues, it's got to be the promoters, uh -huh. and it has to be the bands all working Okay, the well, what, what's the plan? What would you do? What would be the beginning that you would do? Like, okay, you say it starts with, I mean, okay, it's the venue, the promoter, the band. What can the band do? What can the promoter do? What can the, what can the venue do? The band, other than making music, has to get out there. Okay. Go to beat, That's pretty beat, much. Beat. Yeah. Get out. Put okay. out flyers. You know, get the word out. Bring okay. people to shows. Okay. If it's a Friday night, if it's a Friday night and I'm putting on a show and you can't bring 10 people to a show. That's yeah, that pretty, pretty sad, much. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay. Like if you can't bring 10 people, family, friends, whatever to see you, you need to start rethinking what you're doing.